Hi, I'm Jay. And this is Wimbledon 2009. My job here is to help design the Wimbledon website for IBM, which means I get to be here for the whole of Wimbledon, and that's great. And while I'm here, I blog things that I see going on, and I post pictures that I take. OK, everybody knows what Wimbledon's all about, but from our point of view, we have to track some 600 matches for two solid weeks, manage hits on the website, provide video and data to spectators, officials, television broadcasters and anyone else who logs, blogs or now tweets through June. And it's not just match scores. We have radar guns, timing players, serves and a whole team of specialists logging every type of shot that each player makes to provide live information on each player's performance as it happens. Well, my job at Wimbledon is to input the data from the matches, so where they serve to where they return, how the points then planed out. Point Henman, backhand volley, winner Henman. Well, you need quite a high level of tennis ability because you need to be able to decipher things like unforced errors from forced errors, which can be quite hard, especially if you have players as good as, say, Federer, who make everything look easy. So now we can see the latest scores, even before the umpire can announce them over the cheering. But this year we have some ideas that are really quite different. We wanted to start producing smart mobile applications to make the Wimbledon experience even better. Just look at how popular Twitter has become. So we decided to create a new application for mobiles that allows you to get specific Wimbledon tweets from a variety of sources, even the players themselves, in real time. I never know what Roger Federer thought or Andy Murray or any of these players, so they're telling me how they're feeling before, you know, a big, big game or, you know, like training. That's pretty cool. But also there's, there's scouts as well, and these scouts are telling me about useful information that, you know, I wouldn't know about otherwise, so I feel like I'm a real big part of the whole activity. I'm not just a guest for one day. I'm as much of a part of the experience as everybody else. And now possibly the coolest thing, whether I'm waiting to get in somewhere, I'm lost, or just wanting to find the nearest food store, I can access everything live on this new application for my Google phone. The whole of Wimbledon has been tagged, so using the phone's internal compass and GPS, anything you need to know, you can see via the screen. Even things you can't see, like the other side of Centre Court. Oh, this looks interesting. No, way too many people. Oh, now that's what I'm after, 